Okay, so I'm totally talking over. There's no intro for this video, but okay. um, so what are we doing today? I'm checking my hair it, out. I don't know about you. <laughs> you can do that too if you want. But no, my hair's great. It's flawless. Um, anyway, uh, oh, look at the sky. Very nice. I'm not gonna get copyrighted for this. Album. No, you're not, because I, I played this myself. Oh, good. Thank you. Please don't. It's so good. All right, so we're going to Mike and Dee's today. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about something you'll find out later. Right. He's going to get some parts for his uh, flapped out RE. My RE RE. Your what? RE RE. R E R E. It's a RE Are you RE. Trying to lose subscribers. Yep. <laughs> you know I just hit 4,000 It's really upbeat But uh You know I don't know I, I just hit 4,000 subscribers A few months ago 4,000 4,000 4, How many are Russian spam bots? Just asking I don't know um, that happens. So anyways How many did you pay for? None Anyway, um, so far today we've seen a TC2000 and a Type A GMC, Thomas, Thomas. Tamis, um, which is good, it's, it, it's, it's, it's productive, Shoot. it's, for a little bit of background, this Thomas was literally the same one that last year when, um, Adam and Cameron were, were here visiting, we were in my car and we, like, we went over there because I knew that they had buses. Oh, my God. But uh, I knew they would have buses over there. And we're just, like, sitting there, and we see it, and we're like, oh, that's cool. And then we drive off without anyone taking photos. And it was just, it, it was... Such is the Type A life. Yeah. Nobody cares about Type A's, really. Unless they're older, like me. What? What's over there? Something over there? Nothing. I'm looking at Amazon you, truck. because you said nobody cares about Type A's. I drove a Type A. Well, it wasn't even like an, a yellow Type A. It was a. It wasn't even like a yellow Type A. It was a Type A. It was an MFSAB. Freaking microbird. MFSAB. Here's a. Thank you, Google. Speed trap. Okay. Anyways, um, basically, I, I don't know how much I'm gonna fill. What film. does MFS? Multifunction is activity MFS school bus. Just, no, it doesn't. That's exactly what it stands no, for. The MF stands for something else. I can't say it, otherwise you'll get demonetized. Ha <laughs> ah, you're so funny. Yeah, I know. Our videos are always a hoot. And Lakota it or something else. Okay. So, anyways, um, I don't know how much I'm going to film, but... Oh, that's a new thing, too. The washer full of papers. That's cool. We're going to Mike and B, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it's... It's a it's a bus sales place. Bus City USA. There are a lot There's of buses. Nothing else on Newcomers do. Nope. And um, it's it's pretty cool. I, I don't I don't know if you've seen videos of it. I feel like Adam's probably the only one that's got actual videos of this place. Did you do a video on it last time? No. Because I didn't I didn't have a, I just have an iPod. It, oh, that's it right. Doesn't yes, do you so didn't well. have a camera. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going to be there, but, you know, I'm going to try to do some, some cool shots and angles. <laughs> like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment at the end. <laughs> Remember when it used to be raining? There's a bus! A bus? Oh, yeah, that's been there. Oh, it has. Well, excuse me for not being him. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> anyway, um, so, we'll probably... Before that bus, uh, I was just basically saying, we're going with the flow. There will be plenty of buses. Um, plenty of photos will be taken. You should go check out my Flickr. I need to do a PSA, by the way. Nobody ever looks at it. What? Yeah, I need to do a PSA. Oh, so you agree. If you're in... What? Nobody ever looks at my Flickr. You agree. I didn't say that. I said I need to do a PSA. Okay, do your PSA. Okay, I'll do my damn PSA. If you live in Southwest Ohio and you're looking for a job, Lakota Local School District 
<laughs> that didn't turn out well. Um, Lakota Local School District. I'll put it up on the screen for him. Oh, dear God. Um, <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Um, Lakota Local School District is hiring sub drivers for their stellar little fleet of Type A vans and non Type A vans if you're into wheelchair vans and Dodge Grand Caravans and that kind of thing. And also their full size real person buses that the ACF. <laughs> real person buses. And that's what they are. I didn't drive a real person bus. <laughs> but no. That was a wonderful no. advert. Not, not, not to take away anything from the people who drive Type or ride Type A's. Right. But well, that was a wonderful... Real person is meant to refer to the driver. Oh, okay. That. That's why I didn't drive it. Oh. Because I stole a bucket 12. Hmm. Is that in of your... Uh... Uh, no, actually. Oh, uh, there's so more. If you're in Southwest Ohio looking for a job, you're into buses, almost unhealthily so, that's just the place for you. Like me? And it might, might, might be the place for... Well, no, not you, because you already... To Lakota? Yeah, I tried to be a bus aide, but they never called me. So. Yeah, so if your name's not Noah and you're Lakota... Yeah, I, apparently Lakota hates me. Sorry, no, they don't hate you. They just don't care for... They just didn't like you. They don't care for how I feel about certain hey, bus brands. What? Guess who has to pee? You do. I do. Wow, it's a gas station. He's stopping at the pile. This is like true vlogging for him here. Okay, um... I don't know. That is. Look at that new Staples logo. It's also nice. Well, um, we're gonna cut to something better. Oh no, my hair. <laughs> oh, it's all over the place. I won't I show you. It's that. okay. <laughs> I'll take it out. So we're uh, we're almost there. Um, and I figured you guys could see some scenery for a few minutes before we get to where we're going. This beautiful Ohio scenery. Look at the sky, isn't that just That's nice? Cornfields. Yep, cornfields and trees. Fields minus corn. And this is regular fields. The road. Yes. This place is called River Greens. Really? Public golf. Anyone want to go golfing? That sounds scenic. Golf. We're going to go do our form of golfing, I suppose. What's that? Taking pictures of buses. Our form of golf. I guess it's not really our. I don't know. It's like what we, you know. It's like golfing, except without the ball. Or the stick. driver, or whatever. The driver. Or the overall stick. athleticism. Yeah, because we just don't. Yeah. Railroad tracks, quiet, please. <laughs> right? Screw the police. <laughs> oh my god. So. straight. Look at us. Bro, I don't know. Bro. Three miles. Three uh, miles. This is really uh, neat. Out. Like they say, wherever you go, there you are. Yep. Hey, have you zoomed in my? I have not. My face recently. I have not. Good. That's. I learned. That. I learned how to. I learned how to use my camera. Just look at the sky. Okay, so we're here. Um, Peter's off doing something. So basically, um, I just finished taking some pictures. This is just one part, so we're going to go over to the other part in a little bit. Um, so I just thought I'd do this add-on, kind of show you guys. There's a bunch of visions. Some C uh, One CE, two FEs, some Bluebirds, and some uh, Thomas. So it's pretty cool here. All right, so I'm just kind of sitting on this vision. Um, as you can see down there, there is a good amount of buses down there. There are buses over there. There's a bus there. Um, there are buses back there, but back there you get into like where the buses that are being scrapped are. Um, and uh, we'll be going down there in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a Vision Handy Bus. It's kind of sitting in the driver's seat. Got all that kind of stuff. There's the Bluebird Horn. Gauge clusters. All that kind of fun stuff. The dash. So, yeah. 
um, we're just here, you know, taking pictures. Um, yeah, nothing too special going on. Uh, I filmed some tour videos of the FEs over there. Um, you can see the line of buses. So, there's honestly a lot of, uh, I mean, you, you guys see it. There's plenty of buses, and, like, you can see even more over there. Like, this place is filled with them. So, uh, I'm going to go over there. I'll definitely do some filming of uh, what's over there, and, you know, I'll show you a little bit of everything. Um, but any kind of photos I take during this is going to be posted on my Flickr, so... Um, I think you can reach my Flickr from my main YouTube page. I should have it linked. So yeah, there will be more uh, after this. Here you go. Okay. So this bus is something a little bit special. It is a 2004 Thomas EF from the, I hope I'm saying this right, Mahoning County Board of DD. And equipped to it air conditioning, which you can't oh. see. Oh, well actually I can, I can kind of a little, little bit. Kind of Oh, that's my favorite number. Yeah, it's a good number. It is. Oh, I thought you were going to start pushing on the bus. No, I'm, it's a Thomas. It would probably fall apart. Oh, that's true. Um, but what was so special about this bus is it was the uh, first bus that my buddy Ryan and I delivered. Really? He drove it. I followed him. Yeah. Uh, and that's how we discovered that you can indeed drive a bus from the Rush Truck Center all the way down here to Newcomer's Town with no license plates. Wow. As long as there's a car right behind you. Yeah. Huh. Believe it or not. Um, it ran perfectly Oh, it's got behind, icy mirrors on it. Um, except for the part where the engine randomly glitched out right before we set out on our trip. Oh. Uh, yeah. Apart from that, it was fine. Huh. But it, it's a perfectly good 2004 Thomas EF, and nobody's buying it. Not even with LED turn signals. Look at those. God, what a selling point. And uh, LED reds. Well, I don't know about the ambers. I think they're I don't, incandescent. Yeah, they're incandescent. But, huh. Thanks yeah. for the story. No, um, no. So it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. I can imagine. It sucks when it's going to get scrapped. Yeah. So, real quick here, you can kind of see all the kind of stuff that's going on over here. Plenty of different types of buses. Yeah, there's an old, old All-American. And squeaky Thomas doors. Yeah, naturally. Did you check out the uh, Microbird, or Minibird? I did see that, yeah. Yeah, let's go check it out. There's a lake here, but... There's not a lake right here. Okay, you go. What? You don't know? I'm fat. Okay, I'm not getting into this on video. Alright, so I was actually just looking at pictures of this one last night. And it's funny because this originally came from Mike and Bees in 2013. And I guess it was purchased and now it's back. Huh. It looks weird between a first gen, well, the 3800 it kind of looks good with, or natural, but it just doesn't seem to fit in with all these buses. No, it doesn't, which is why I love it. Yeah. I would drive the heck out of this thing. I'm going to... There is a wheel on here. There is. Oh, no rear door. Oh. That's new. Yeah. I love the dashboards in these things, because this is a 2003. Really? Yeah, and they did not change them, like, at all. That's what I love about these, like, they were made for quite a while, and they never changed yeah, the look on them. Like, you anything. don't know if this is an 81 or an 03, yeah. like, it's... Well, actually, now they did renovate it at some point, because that's, that's probably, like, uh, sometime in the 90s. Um, like, the steering wheel, you can tell, like, the yeah. button and the dash panel. Hmm. I ever tell you the story of how I locked myself in a TC2000, because I didn't know how to use this door? Yeah. With our transportation director at the time. Um, I just shut it. Oh, do tell. Okay, so basically, they all know the story, but I will tell you. Basically, uh, our old 67, uh -huh. we got on it, I shut the door, and then I went to do it, and I was like, how does this work? And then that's when I figured out. Yeah, I, 
like before then I had never seen one of these handles. If only there was more than one way out of a bus. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, but what was the point in going out that back door? All because you locked yourself in the front door, apparently. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that. Point of the story is, is I, I eventually got us out. Um, is that the point of the story? Yeah. Because I thought the point of the story was the part where you locked yourself in. I did lock myself in. That was the point of the story. There's a wonderful first gen. Okay. Um, you low headroom. That's high headroom. You high headroom. Whatever. I don't care. Well, I do. You, 466. I never said that. Yes, you did. Up there. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, we will continue more after I take more photos of buses. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what mythos means, but this is a former Olentangy local schools bus. And hold on while I get this paper up here. This was one of several FEs donated to the Coshocton County Fair by Mike and D Sales. Yeah. Um, the idea behind this was that they got several high schools from the area um, after they donated these buses. They got together a team of students and they painted each of these buses, and then huh. they entered them in the contest in the fair. Um, wow. And then they scrapped two of them right after that and kept this one. Neat. Because it was the ugliest. <laughs> what? And the funniest part is that one of the four high schools that they counted on uh, didn't paint their bus. Wow. Yeah. Go team. <laughs> so, yeah. Huh. I might need to keep this for mine, actually. Yeah. This is a pretty interesting bus. Who wants to see the old All-American? Yep. Um, I know I just said, do you want to see the All-American? But we're, we're not going to look at the All-American because there's a lot of mold and there's a wasp nest that may or not, may not, it, it's probably, yeah. These run on drive. Oh look, TC2000s. Wow. Wow. These are new arrivals from Madison Local Schools. 36. I wrote a 36. Guys, look! An Amtran RE. With cleaner burning, renewable, biodiesel. www.biodiesel.org. 100. I'm pretty sure I have the emblem off of this. Because I'm pretty sure this is the one he... Uh, oh, I don't like the coloring of the yellow. It's... That's horrible. Good thing it's in the junkyard. Yep, it's where it belongs. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Are you recording that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take it out. What cool. is it? This is the Master Emerald. Yeah. Right here on, on the uh, dashboard of this humble... Thomas? 2002 Thomas Freightliner. Oh, really? With 235,000 miles. Somehow. <sighs> That's great. Wasn't that fun? Look at how tiny it is. Seriously. It's a... Sm Pretty little. It's... Pretty little. It's a little guy. Look. It's, it's very... It's tiny. And there's another RE. Hey, what's my... Hello. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to think. Thank you, bus driver. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so... That, that, is, that is so 2018. Pardon me for making an old reference. Fortnite is so out. Really? What's in now? Coronavirus. Oh, that's true. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, that really put a damper on things. I already looked at... Look. Somebody took them. It w they were here last time. Yeah, three years ago. It's only been, it's not even been, oh my god, it has. Yeah, it has. I'm done. So, uh, we're just, yeah, this bus is very dirty. Makes mine look like a cakewalk. I'm going to get back off now. Oh, cross arm stuck. So, 
I don't know. But that's a low headroom RE. Oh, it's an international RE. Here's an add-on to uh, the vlog. We got a first gen here. Looks like it's got some roof cap damage. Got some LEDs. This is a really good looking bus. It's almost exactly like 50. I got the CE200 emblem. Exactly the emblem I need. Oh, this has a crank door. Huh. Interesting. And it smells like a... Yeah. Huh. Very cool. I oh, know, I just thought I'd add this onto the vlog. There are a bunch of CEs over here. There's like five of them in a row. So, yeah. Look at that, guys. C2s. In a junkyard. Ha 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 ha. Very cool. I just, I don't think C2s look right with incandescent. Oh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, anywho. There's a tow truck. I don't know. Well, we're about to go over to the part where all the scrap buses are, so that, that should be a good, fun bit of footage. There's another first jet. In a truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course you did. Thomas. A bluebird and a Thomas and another Thomas and another bluebird. It's like a pattern. Yeah. I believe it. Oh, I do. And it's got high headroom. So. Well, I'm going to retrieve some batteries so we can keep going and who knows what else will. Okay, so we're out here. There's a bluebird. A carpenter. So this is just headed towards where they keep the scrap buses and buses that have bus parts in them, like for storage. There's some wings over there. So yeah, it's pretty cool here. Um, I don't really know what all to say, but you can see over here I got some windows and those parts. There's some ones over there. Uh, go look at these wanes. You can see some engines. There are some CE hoods over here. So you can see um, CE hoods, and there are more hoods over there. So yeah, this is uh, Mike and B buses. I don't know. There's a micro bird. There are some wings over there. I'm trying to find my way through where all the water and stuff is. So, um, that's, I don't know. I don't really have much to say. I guess we'll walk over here, look at these older buses. You can see they've cut these wains and whatever else apart to use for storage of uh, parts and just whatever they have. There's an old blue bird. There's a wane. So, yeah, I'm going to go over to where the scrap buses are, see if any of them have emblems, and uh, go from there. Real quick side note, there is a Superior with a box truck behind it. 
like they cut the superior in half and then they put a box behind it uh, so that's pretty cool I'll try to get over to it you can kind of see it there on the end so yeah there it is right there you can see it the box behind it so that's definitely interesting keep going here well some more buses over there that are used for storage and yeah that's that superior with the box you can see some scrap buses over here they're getting ready to be scrapped so yeah just another quick add-on here just showing you some more of these buses that are back here this bus here was actually um, at the front of the lot last time I was here without that big hole in the roof cap you got two CEs over here probably getting ready to get scrapped um, got a GM or a Chevy Wayne Chevy Carpenter S series Carpenter Bluebird 3800 there's the hood to that Carpenter uh, there's some buses over there that are probably also getting ready to be scrapped. So, yeah, uh, not much else. I think I'm going to go ahead and head back. Uh, get ready to go. There's some buses over there. I'll walk over here so you guys can see these other buses. There's a ward over there. You can see the all the hoods on the ground from buses that they've scrapped. Let's see here. There appears to be another CE all the way over there. You can see, we'll zoom in. Yeah, I got a CE. I think that's a first gen. Bluebird, a bunch of other stuff. There's a carpenter right there. That Wayne. Uh, let's see. There's that Lodestar Superior uh, Lodestar that has a box on the back. Here's another Wayne. Well, two Waynes that have been used for storage. Something really cool here, we got this uh, Ward, I believe it's a President, um, and then a Ford Ward, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, they've been here for a while, but still pretty cool to see, and for, well, you know, I've seen them before, but still very cool to see. Oh, okay, so I'm back, I came back, Peter is here. It's me, again. And uh, this is a bus. I got some CE emblems. You did. I did, yeah. Uh, it is really bare over there. You weren't kidding. Yeah, they've really figured things out. Yeah. But um, I'm sure there'll be more ads on, a, 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 add-ons after this because, you know, we still have to go home. But, yeah, there will be more. And now we're leaving. Yes, so, we are. goodbye to the Visions and the ICFE. So I, I guess I have to take a look now and see what, yeah. if I were to get one of these visions, which one I would get, not that one, hopefully. I feel like they're probably going to stick me with one of these because they're probably they're pretty clapped out. Yeah. They have the tiniest tires in the world and that's... They really do. I kind of like the one with the black hood, but... I wouldn't mind either of those center bill buses. Oh, so the visions? Yeah, those are 47, oh, 100. Yeah, okay. And that makes sense. Also. Hmm. Because when I toured their lot, um, Ryan and uh, Andrew, the guy who's the um, transportation director, tested some of those out. They're still, they're still in good shape. Huh. I'm not sure why she said they're having trouble selling those. Interesting. Like, I always thought they were. Yeah, I don't know. Level. And they're still pretty new. Hmm. Well, now we're <laughs> we on that to, same road again. Yeah, we have to uh, 
make our second try at the railroad crossing. Let's try this again. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Am I supposed to, are buses supposed to turn their engines off or not? No. They're not. Alright. Okay. I didn't think so. No. Just the, the radio. The yeah. Needs to be Some buses have a noise suppression system that it makes the engine idle to lower. I don't know That's how it works, but which it's. Which buses a, have that? CEs. Huh? Noise suppression. Like yeah. Oh. I don't think it's standard. I think it's something you have to uh, order. That would make sense. But I'm not too sure on all of that. Um, so, yes, we're leaving the world of. So let me let me say a little epilogue here. Sure. So um, I'm gonna roll just, this window up so yeah, the wind is not. Just to explain to your viewers what that that meeting was about. Yes. Um, so I just met with the owner of Mike and Bees. Um, if you remember the video that no upload last year at Lawrenceburg Speedway, um, I went to another race at Lawrenceburg and started talking with the announcer at the Speedway, who's an old family friend of ours, and he effectively told me anyone can enter the school bus race. And so, with the generosity of everyone at Mike and B's, I'm getting a bus from there. There's the sign. There is Mike and B's. You can see it. Promotion. Yep. So I will be getting a bus from there, preparing it for competition, with Noah included, of course, yep. and entering it in this year's videos will be happening destruction. yeah oh, yeah we'll be tearing some seats out we'll be painting <laughs> some stuff we'll be so maybe smashing some tough i don't know oh fun we'll have fun with it so do you think you want to lean more for a vision than a freightliner i think so just because i'm more comfortable driving a uh a bluebird conventional than a than a freightliner right yeah I, I just don't like the driving position of freightliners in general no matter what yeah. body they're on hmm. feels like i'm driving a bar stool because <laughs> you're so high up. Right, you know? yeah. I've never driven one, so. Yeah. And I don't plan to, right now at least. Right. Um, I've been out of this. Yeah, and I was thinking about that. Like, he always goes off on a tangent about how much he loves the way they drive. And. I don't know. It's just like, what? Yeah. So, anyways, more blue skies and uh, stuff like that. I'd say, that's, I'd say it was a pretty productive day. It was, yeah. I, I got, got what I needed. You right, got I did. Needed. I did, yeah. I got some content. Um, I was talking about the albums. But, well, that too. Know, that works too. Yeah, see, I know I briefly showed it, but I got some CE200 emblems. So, Shoot. what? Sorry. This doesn't have anything to do with the video, but oh, uh, shit. I thought of one more stop that we could make. Okay, cool. I'll have to turn around. Oh. Well, we're turning around. It's super cool, dude. Why are, you, why are you recording this? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm making a transition. We're, to what? We're supposed to be done. I cut it off, like, right before you said what we were going to do. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> that's not even supposed to be a pun. That's just pure <laughs> aspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so. you for making fun of the way I laugh. Remember, I can control whether your window goes up or down, so I wouldn't mess with it. Don't play with fire, Noah. I will not play with fire. I apologize. I, I tried that once. It was fun, but I wouldn't do it again. Well, anyways, uh, we're going to this truck stop that may or may not have some buses hidden by exporters. Nice, uh... International 4700 fire truck. Oh, I like those. I well, I like anything international. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know if there are buses there. I, I suppose I will do a little bit of filming of them. So, yep. That's okay. missing a headlight. Yep. Yep. Great. Love it. Who's that? Maple Heights. That's where those okay. visions were. Oh, well, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They must be cleaning house. Oh, that's really cool. All right, so we're currently in Lebanon on our way home, well, to my home. But, uh, yeah, so those buses that we talked about earlier with the exporters weren't even there, so that didn't happen. Um, and then I think the clip before this is the clip of the FS-65 with no headlight that was actually on its way to 
Mike and me, so um, that was cool, I guess. So I just wanted to end it here and uh, say thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I will have a few tour videos coming up. They're all of international front engines, so get ready for that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.